Hey everyone, Dan from fpgeeks.com here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Edison Beaumont Pneumatic Filler. Um, this one comes in antique marbled acrylic, that's the one Brian sent me, and it's it's a great material. Um, now this is a signature line pen, so what that means is that you will get to pick your materials from the dozens and dozens that Brian has available on his website, and you can check that out at edisonpen.com. Um, he's got so many materials to choose from. It, I don't know how anyone would ever decide, um, but but you can't go wrong with this one. This is an excellent material. Um, it's it's super complex, um, and there's also a bit of transparency to it. It's very cool. Um, I try and show that off a little bit later in the review. Um, but like I said, being a signature line pen, it does start around 250, and then with the pneumatic filler added to it, that's a hundred dollar option. So you're getting a, a steel nib custom made fountain pen for 350 bucks um, now that's also backed by excellent customer service from brian um, if you should ever need it um, but this does come with a silicone sack on the inside which is a lot more durable than the latex normally used so you shouldn't need it serviced within a year or two at all like it, it should last a very long time so um, let's take a closer look at this thing Inside the shipping container, you'll get two items. You'll get, of course, the pen and the pen box, and then some filling, or some instructions. And here you can see the QR code, which you can actually scan with your webcam to pull up a quick video on how to operate the pen. Um, and then Brian also includes written instructions as well. Um, and it's, it's very convenient, a lot of good information there, so be sure you read over that. Um, but sliding the cover off the pen box, you get this faux alligator crocodile leather box um, in, a, in a deep burgundy. It's a, it's a really nice color, and it's a clamshell style, so when you open it up, you see the pen and then some included silicone grease. And this is to um, put on the, the brass barrel if it's sticking or if it's not smooth, and you only need a little bit. Um, so of course you got the pen, and then Brian also includes a contact card with ways you can follow Edison pens. Alright, let's take a closer look at this pen. Um, the particular one that Brian sent me came in antique marbled acrylic, and it's, it's a fantastic material. Um, there's a lot of depth to it, but there's also some nice transparency to it as well. Um, Brian does a really good job um, accenting the pen with, with the black um, on the top of the cap and then also the black um, filling knob. And if we go ahead and remove the cap here, you'll see that he also uses black on the section. And I think it um, looks better overall rather than just the entire pen being the same material. I do find this pen to be rather comfortable when it's in the posted position, it, it fits my hand very nicely. It, it is a little thin for my taste, um, but my biggest issue is the section here. I don't really care for that um, concave shape to it, um, but I, I do tend to hold the pen a little further back so it wasn't that big of an issue. Um, taking a closer look at the nib, this comes with a number six size stainless steel nib in a very nice two-tone color which, which matches the antique marble acrylic very well. It does have a, a plastic feed, but the feed works very well to control the flow. I, I never experienced any issues with skipping or poor flow. The pen is just a bit small for me, so let's kind of take a closer look at the sides. Uh, removing the cap and using it with the cap completely removed, it just is just too small for me. Um, I, I wouldn't find it comfortable for long riding sessions, uh, maybe a quick note or two, and if you post it, it becomes much more comfortable. Um, this is definitely more weight to it, and it fits in my hand better. One reason for that is because the cap posts a little bit further back on this Beaumont than the standard Beaumont without the pneumatic filler. Um, so you can see just how far back on the pin it posts, and I believe Brian said that's due to the slight um, change in design because the pneumatic filler changes the taper at the rear of the pin. Speaking of the filler, let's take a quick look at how that works exactly. Um, I'm going to use some Conway Stewart Kingsin ink here. Um, it's, it's a very nice ink. It's one of their. It's from their new line of inks. Um, it's kind of a, a dark brown color, and the, to operate the filling system, it's very simple. You just unscrew the filling knob at the end, uh, just pull the barrel all the way out, and then when you're filling it, you got to make sure you cover that hole right there with your finger. And in one smooth stroke, push it down, remove your finger, and let it sit there for about 10 to 15 seconds. 
Now, if you listen closely when I pulled the pin out, if you heard that, I didn't let it sit there long enough. You kind of heard that little as it sucked up a little bit more ink from the feet. So definitely make sure you hold it down there and you'll get a full fill every time. Now that the pen is filled, we can do a writing sample. You can really see it in action. Um, I've really never had a bad experience with an Edison pen. Uh, they've always come tuned straight from Edison very well, and this one is, is no exception. The medium steel nib is very smooth. Um, of course, being a steel nib, there's not going to be any flex. It's going to be pretty rigid, um, but I've never found that much of an issue. Uh, the feed um, works perfectly. Uh, the flow has been consistent, it's slightly wet, and it provides for a great writing experience. And here I'm using uh, that, that Conway Stewart Kingsland ink on some white lines paper. I really like this paper uh, for the, the subtle grid background. And here you can see doing some, some quick scribbles. The feed doesn't have a problem keeping up. Um, it just provides a nice smooth flow of ink. The, the nib is smooth and just doing some quick cursive here to try and get it to skip. Um, I, I just couldn't do it. Uh, the entire time I used this pen, it just performed every time I needed it to. And that's a very good thing coming from an excellent manufacturer like Edison.